Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to let you guys know that there is a whole bunch of ARM templates that are pre-configured already available uh, under Azure Quick Start Templates. If you go to GitHub you will find it under Azure. And let's deploy one of the ARM template that's available to us. Uh, I'm going to try deploying VM Linux Azure Zulu OpenJDK installation. And you can read a little bit of it, what it's going to deploy and, and what are the things that sometimes you need as a, a prerequisite. Uh, but the easiest thing you can visualize to see what are the components that are going to be deployed. And all you need to do is click on that Azure, uh, deploy to Azure button. And I'm just opening it in a new window. If you are locked in, it will already go to a deployment blade and it will if, if, if you have need to do any kind of configuration, it will ask you to do. So let's create a new resource group. Let's call it, uh, what should you call it? Let's call it uh, free arm. Okay. And then East US is fine. It's going to deploy Ubuntu machine. Uh, admin username, you can put um, student. SSH key is good. maybe just go with the password let's do okay storage <coughs> new or existing new uh, everything else looks it's already preloading artifact sas token i'm just not going to do anything anywhere else i'm just going to say yeah agree and hit on purchase so if you need if you know if variation is successful it will start the deployment and you can look at the status of the deployment from here uh, the other thing you can do we know that it has to create a resource group and we we said it's a free arm what is the resource if you don't see it here so sometimes you have to refresh it and now here's a resource group that showed up so you can click on that one inside this you have a section you where it uh, says deployment and under this it uh, usually gives you the current status of the last deploy deployment or if you have a deployment ongoing it will say it's deploying right one deploy so you can click on it <clears throat> this one usually gives you a little bit more details about what exactly is going on so it's like so many things so many resources like that's the beauty of arm template if there there are dependent resources that should be deployed first azure intelligently will deploy the dependent resources first before deploying anything else like before uh, say uh, a virtual machine you need a virtual network uh, it will deploy it if you need an nsc it will deploy it so it's it's uh, very cool the way it does okay so let's just give it a couple more minutes and once this is done we'll just come back and take a look at what exactly deployed and uh, make sure our deployment is successful all right everyone it looks like the deployment is now done and it didn't really take too long i paused for maybe two minutes uh, so once the deployment is done uh, you can click on the go to resource group to look at the details you can also click over here to kind of look at what are the things that got deployed so it deployed Linux Zulu NSC that's a network security group a public IP address a storage account another public IP address a virtual network a network interface card another storage account a Zulu uh, and then some install script. So let's go to the resource group and see what's going on. So if you look, if you go to the resource group, so pretty much it, it, it has installed that virtual machines, which is named the Linux Zulu. Uh, it's got a NIC associated with it, an NSG, the disk, okay, uh, and then you have the public IP address, the storage account and virtual network. Now you can kind of look inside all of this if you go under the storage account. Uh, do we have anything? So let's go to containers and uh, 
we have something where we have the diagnostic slots looks like it's uh, coming up as a page blog blob and uh, let's come back over here again here again uh, public IP address is nothing nothing crazy so uh, let's see what's going on all right everyone so now we have this uh, machine is running so we should be available in this particular IP address so let's uh, log in to this particular uh, machine that we just created and I'm just gonna do SSH student at the server IP and there we go say yes and password and here we are okay so now we are logged into the machine and if I do a top on it just make sure everything is good everything is running I got 8 gigs of memory um, nice everything looks good uh, nothing crazy uh, there are 102 tasks things like that so let's uh, do a escape on it or queue that brings me back you can do a ls on it it's working touch test ls yeah files are getting created so everything looks good now uh, so th there we go so now I have a uh, azul zulu for Azure now I have deployed successfully without any problem and it only took like how much maybe five ten minutes so that's the beauty of Azure template and what is Azure Zulu, Azure Zulu it's a distribute it, it distri distributes and supports Zulu and Zulu Enterprise a certified binary build of open JDK okay if you're using this uh, product then here is the ARM file that you need and you can easily and quickly uh, deploy the machine so that's all I, we wanted to cover uh, in this machine it looks like you can also configure a different flavor of uh, Linux if you want to customize this deployment and the choices for open Zulu open uh, JDK VM you can use the JDK JRE headless JRE or uh, for the latest release of Java 7 8 11 or 13 the default Zulu is Java 8 JDK okay so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this particular video how you use it and other thing I always recommend that you always look at the JSON files exactly what you are deploying and kind of understand what it is so you always have the schema and the content version then under parameters you have different things and right over here you know that you're gonna be deploying a Ubuntu machine and Java package so it's what are the Java packages that uh, we have we're gonna install so all those packages are allowed the default is the open JDK 8 version of the Java so you know that that uh, these are all the things that you can do again a default value for the VM SKU the standard D2S V3 uh, let's see if there's anything else that's interesting you, you, you can look through it so you know that you're gonna use a subnet a subnet prefix uh, network uh, resource group name public IP name all of that stuff uh, here under variables you have some more uh, uh, more information that you can quickly get so if you're using Ubuntu 18 what are gonna be the different uh, different information I don't like for publisher or for SQ version if you're gonna be deb using Debian who is gonna be the publisher what's the offer what's the SQ and what's the person so all those information is available over here for your review and uh, if you have a specific need feel free to go ahead and modify this to meet your own requirement so as you deploy the one file the other file usually is a parameter file so let's see if this one got any yeah as I thought it they might so you can click on the parameter here you pass some of the parameters uh, typically you will provide like admin password okay uh, admin username uh, stuff like that 
so just to pay attention and try kind of good good understanding of what our files and how the ARM templates are built, these are JSON files. And if you're studying for any of the Azure exams, expect to see some of these uh, files and they, they might ask you some question around it. And just be prepared to kind of read and understand and be able to answer it correctly. All right, there we go. So you have a Linux virtual machine with Azure Zulu OpenJDK installed and the installation went flawlessly within maybe 10 minutes. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.